Imagine a world where death is nothing more than an illusion, a boundary we believe in, but one that might not actually exist. What if aging wasn't an unstoppable force, but simply an accumulation of molecular errors, a problem that could one day be solved? What if your consciousness never truly ceased to exist, but instead continued in a different version of reality? This is where quantum mechanics, cutting-edge technology, and theoretical physics collide in one of the most mind-bending ideas of all time, quantum immortality. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has often explored the radical idea that death, as we perceive it, may not be absolute. According to him, both biological and quantum immortality could be within reach. Scientists are already making breakthroughs in reversing the aging process, repairing DNA, and exploring the potential of quantum mechanics in reshaping our understanding of life itself. But could this go even further? Could our consciousness itself be immune to death, shifting between different quantum realities forever? In this deep dive, we'll explore the science, the theories, and the astonishing implications of quantum immortality. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about life, death, and reality itself. Aging, in its simplest form, is the accumulation of errors, tiny molecular mistakes that build up over time. Each time a cell divides, minor errors occur in DNA replication. Proteins misfold, mitochondria degrade, and eventually these errors lead to the breakdown of tissues, organ failure, and ultimately, death. But what if we could correct these errors at the molecular level? Some creatures already defy aging. The hydra, a tiny freshwater organism, is biologically immortal. Its cells continuously regenerate without accumulating damage. Certain jellyfish can revert back to their juvenile state, essentially restarting their life cycle indefinitely. If nature has already cracked the code for immortality, could humans do the same? Tech entrepreneurs and biologists are pouring billions into anti-aging research, seeking ways to halt or even reverse cellular decay. Breakthroughs in genetic engineering, stem cell therapy, and advanced pharmaceuticals could hold the key. But this is only half the story. While biological immortality focuses on preventing death from aging, quantum immortality suggests that death itself may be an illusion. Quantum mechanics is a realm of uncertainty, probabilities, and mind-bending paradoxes. One of the most controversial interpretations is the Many Worlds Interpretation, MWI. According to this theory, every quantum event causes the universe to split into multiple realities, each playing out a different possible outcome. What does this mean for consciousness? Suppose you find yourself in a life-threatening situation, a plane crash, a terminal illness, an accident. In most realities, you perish, but in some, you miraculously survive. According to quantum immortality, from your own subjective experience, you would only ever exist in the realities where you continue to live. In this way, you never actually experience death. This leads to a fascinating but eerie thought. If quantum immortality is real, then from your own perspective, you are functionally eternal. No matter how many close calls you have, there will always be a version of reality where you persist. But if this were true, why don't we remember dying before? Does the human mind operate on quantum principles? Some researchers believe it does. The penrose hameroff orcoar theory suggests that consciousness arises from quantum processes within neurons. If true, this could explain how consciousness might persist across multiple realities. Quantum coherence a property observed in biological systems like photosynthesis, shows that living organisms already exploit quantum mechanics in ways we don't fully understand. Could our consciousness do the same? Could it function like a quantum wave, existing in multiple states until measured by observation? However, mainstream science remains skeptical. The brain is a warm, wet environment, conditions that typically destroy fragile quantum states. 
if quantum mechanics plays a role in consciousness, we have yet to find definitive proof. If quantum immortality is real, is there a way to test it? The quantum suicide experiment is a disturbing thought experiment designed to explore the implications of many worlds. Imagine a scientist sets up a machine linked to a quantum particle in superposition. Every time the particle is measured, it randomly lands in one of two states. If it lands in state A, the scientist survives. If it lands in state B, the machine instantly kills them. From an outsider's perspective, the scientist eventually perishes. But from the scientist's own perspective, they will only ever experience the outcomes where they continue to survive. Every time the universe splits, they find themselves in the reality where they are still alive. In this way, they are effectively immortal, at least from their own point of view. Does this prove quantum immortality? Not necessarily. The problem is that survival bias makes it impossible to verify. The scientists may believe they are immortal, but in every other branch of reality, they are dead. Additionally, if consciousness truly shifted realities, why don't we retain memories of past deaths? Even if many worlds is correct, quantum immortality faces several major problems. 1. No memory of past deaths. If we truly transition between realities where we survive, why don't we remember previous deaths? Some speculate that memories may be locked to each universe, meaning we wouldn't retain them across different versions of reality. 2. Probability Issues Over time, the odds of surviving every possible fatal event become astronomically small. If quantum immortality were real, why don't we see clear evidence of people surviving against impossible odds all the time? 3. The Observer Problem Many worlds suggest that all possible outcomes exist, but it doesn't necessarily mean our consciousness experiences all of them. It's unclear whether consciousness itself follows the same quantum rules as subatomic particles. Quantum computers could revolutionize our understanding of both biological and quantum immortality. Unlike classical computers, which process information linearly, quantum computers can analyze vast amounts of data simultaneously, simulating complex biological processes at the molecular level. By modeling DNA repair mechanisms, protein synthesis, and cellular aging, quantum computers could help scientists unlock the secrets to halting or reversing aging. If biological immortality is possible, quantum computers will likely be the tool that makes it a reality. The Many Worlds Interpretation A Universe of Infinite Possibilities Quantum immortality is rooted in the Many Worlds Interpretation, MWI, of quantum mechanics a theory first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in the 1950s. According to MWI, every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs, but in separate branching universes. For example, if you flip a coin, the universe splits into two, one where the coin lands on heads and another where it lands on tails. Applied to life and death, this means that every time you face a fatal event, the universe splits into one where you die and another where you survive. From your perspective, you would only ever experience the reality in which you live, creating the illusion of immortality. But here's the catch. This theory is impossible to prove. Since you can only experience the realities in which you survive, there's no way to observe or measure the universes where you die. This makes quantum immortality a fascinating but untestable idea. The Consciousness Conundrum Is it quantum or classical? One of the biggest challenges to quantum immortality is the question of consciousness. Does consciousness follow the rules of quantum mechanics, or is it purely a product of classical physics? Most neuroscientists argue that consciousness arises from the complex interactions of neurons in the brain which operate according to classical physics. There's no evidence that the brain exists in multiple quantum states at once, as subatomic particles do. 
Theories that link consciousness to quantum mechanics, such as Roger Penrose's Orchestrated Objective Reduction, ORC-OR theory, remain highly speculative and controversial. Michio Kaku has often discussed the enigmatic nature of consciousness, suggesting that we are still in the early stages of understanding its true nature. While he acknowledges that the many worlds interpretation is taken seriously by some physicists, he also emphasizes that it remains unproven. The real question, Kaku argues, is whether consciousness itself follows quantum mechanical laws. If it does, then the idea of an endless branching reality for every individual might not be so far-fetched. The problem of testing. Can we ever prove it? For a theory to be considered scientific, it must be falsifiable, meaning there should be a way to test and potentially disprove it. Quantum immortality fails this criterion because it relies entirely on first-person experience. Since individuals would only ever perceive realities where they survive, external observers wouldn't be able to confirm their immortality. This lack of testability places quantum immortality firmly in the realm of thought experiments rather than empirical science. However, as research into quantum biology and the nature of consciousness progresses, we may one day get closer to answering these fundamental questions about life, death, and the fabric of reality itself. A new perspective on existence. If quantum immortality were true, it would fundamentally change our understanding of life and death. Instead of a single linear existence, life would be an infinite web of branching realities, each inhabited by a different version of you. Death, from this perspective, would be relative. While others might see you die, your consciousness would continue uninterrupted in another reality. This raises profound questions about identity and selfhood. Are we a singular self, or are we an infinite number of versions of ourselves, each navigating their own path through different realities? And if so, what does that mean for the concept of individuality? The Future of Quantum Mechanics and Consciousness While quantum immortality remains speculative, the future of quantum mechanics continues to push the boundaries of what we know about reality. Scientists are already investigating how quantum principles might apply to biological systems such as photosynthesis and enzyme activity. Could similar quantum mechanisms exist within the brain? Advancements in quantum computing and neuroscience may one day provide answers. As quantum computers become more advanced, they could help model the brain in ways that classical computers cannot, potentially revealing whether quantum effects contribute to consciousness. Michio Kaku believes that quantum mechanics still holds many secrets. He argues that as we develop more advanced technologies, we may uncover new dimensions of reality that challenge our current understanding of physics and consciousness. Some of the biggest unanswered questions include, does the brain function as a quantum system, or is it purely classical? Can quantum computing help us decode the true nature of consciousness? If parallel universes exist, is there any way to access or communicate with them? Conclusion the universe is stranger than we imagined. After exploring the strange and fascinating idea of quantum immortality, one thing is clear. If true, it would fundamentally change our understanding of life and death. The theory suggests that consciousness never truly experiences an end, instead shifting to alternate realities where survival continues. Yet, Despite its foundation in the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, quantum immortality remains a speculative concept without direct scientific proof. The biggest challenge lies in determining whether consciousness follows quantum rules or emerges purely from classical biological processes. Looking ahead, advancements in quantum computing, neuroscience, and fundamental physics may bring us closer to understanding how quantum mechanics influences our existence. If the many worlds interpretation is ever confirmed, it could reshape our view of reality and perhaps even validate the idea that, in some form, death is not the absolute end. Regardless of the outcome, one thing is certain. The universe is far stranger than we ever imagined, 
and science continues to push the boundaries of what we know. Final Thoughts Quantum immortality forces us to rethink some of the most fundamental questions about existence. Is death truly the end, or does something else happen beyond our perception? Does consciousness obey quantum rules, or is it purely a biological phenomenon? And if this idea has even a small chance of being true, what does it mean for the future of science and our understanding of reality itself? As we continue to explore these questions, one thing is clear. The mysteries of quantum mechanics and consciousness are far from solved. And perhaps, in the words of Michio Kaku, the universe is even stranger than we imagined. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of quantum physics, be sure to subscribe for more explorations into the biggest questions of existence.